what do you use when you install applications on a Kubernetes cluster? Obviously, you create a Kubernetes cluster and then you have to deploy applications. And those applications might not be only your application. There are Kubernetes specific applications that are required for you to run your workloads. For example, if you need to expose your application, you generally would install Ingress Controller. And if you would need HTTPS TLS, you would generally install Cert Manager. Now, how generally do you do that? A very popular tool in the ecosystem is Helm. Now, a very good friend of mine, Matt, created Helm during a hackathon, which is now such a big project. So Helm is there. Helm is widely adopted. Do we really need another package manager? Let's find out in this particular video about a new tool called GlassCube. So GlassCube was just recently launched yesterday, 1st of Feb, and it aims to simplify some of the challenges or shortcomings in the Helm ecosystem. So when you install the application using Helm, it doesn't upgrade the custom resource definition. It doesn't help you do that. You either have to define it separately or there are separate tooling in the CICD ecosystem like Flux that helps you do that. There is no way to define the dependency. And I mean, there is, but those are the workarounds. There is nothing native to Kubernetes, just like an operator, like you create a custom resource and there's an operator which is continuously syncing and managing the state. So there is nothing to maintain the state. It's all client side that once you install the Helm chart, it's get, it gets installed. It will never sync back the state for the application. And it will also not check for the upgrades in the original charts which are there. Also, the Helm charts might not be the best kind of package managers when you want because you would want some basic things like you would want to install the application. You would want to upgrade the application. You would want your application to persist and run when you upgrade the underlying infrastructure, which in this case obviously is Kubernetes. So when you install new version of Kubernetes, it has certain APIs that gets deprecated and your applications might or might not work because it has to get all those updates from the upstream and then it needs to check whether these are updated or not. So the main issue with Helm is it's it's totally on the client side, like you have Helm installed on your system. And then what you do is you just do a Helm install of the specific chart, like the Prometheus one or Cert Manager one or whatever that is on your Kubernetes cluster. But then it's over. Like you define your values.yaml file, then it's over. You, you can't really do much engagement with Helm. Uh, now, there are some utilities like, you know, Helm UI is there, uh, one of the projects by Commodore. Like there are different interesting use cases to solve this problem. But what we'll be discussing today is about GlassCube that aims to be a new kind of package manager which you install, which is Kubernetes native that gets installed on Kubernetes and has a client as well. So basically, you can think of it as you have the operator that is running inside the Kubernetes cluster. And you have your client from where you will be creating those custom resources or you'll be interacting using the CLI or the UI. So yes, all these three are possible. And then you will be creating those applications. Like the controller will get synced, it will get, and it will make sure it is installing the application because now you are Kubernetes native. Now you are able to communicate with the Kubernetes API. I think that's one of the key benefits. Now it's at really early stages. Let's try out GlassCube and see where it stands as of today. And do we really need a new package manager for Kubernetes? Yes, we do need, but let's see if GlassCube solves that particular problem. So I have not installed GlassCube yet. So we'll do everything from scratch, but I'm sure it should work. If it doesn't, then we'll find out. First is, uh, let's get started. So this is a website and let's fast track because that's what we want to do. So brew install. Now Kubernetes cluster I have already created. So I already have a Kubernetes cluster installed, but we'll install now glass cube. In the meanwhile, what we'll do is we'll go through some of the components and maybe the architecture. So let's see, we have an installation. We are already doing that. Next is the bootstrap. 
So yeah, um, basically glass cube requires you to bootstrap. It means it definitely requires you to have certain things installed onto the system and it will install a bundled version with subset of Flux. So basically it will install with Flux, with a, which is a GitOps uh, solution. And it is also compatible with uh, other GitOps solution, but for now it is Flux. And if you already have Flux, then you can just do glass cube bootstrap hyphen hyphen type slim and it will skip the Flux installation. Uh, disclaimer, since it is in technical preview, it's just released and the manual bootstrap is needed. Automatic detection and bootstrapping will be implemented in future. That sounds good. Now, there are three main things, which is the client package operator and the package repository. So the client is obviously that you are having on the system, which we are installing over here. And the package operator is something, the uh, operator that gets installed following the Kubernetes operator pattern that gets installed onto the Kubernetes cluster. It will have two controllers. One is the package controller and one is the package info controller. So the package controller manages the package resource that you create or it is getting created by the CLI or the UI when you click and install, something like that. And uh, the package info will maintain the sync between the manifest and the package repository. And package repository is the place where there are the glass cube packages. And you can see the list of packages supported by glass cube today. And you can see you have cert manager, you have Kubernetes dashboard, you have Cyclops, you have uh, ingress nginx. So you can see all these packages that are supported by glass cube. So comparisons with Helm, uh, I have already told you some of the shortcomings of Helm and I think it aims to solve because it will be installed as an operator. Uh, one key thing to highlight over here is uh, the glass cube is laser focused on delivering a tool for administrators who need to only manage a couple of applications. So that is said by them. And they say it is not full replacement for Helm. So it is mainly to establish workflows uh, with your existing tools, Helm and the GitOps solutions. Coming to the architecture, looks pretty simple. Um, so you have a client that we are installing and we can use either the CLI or the uh, web UI. We'll be trying using both. And then it will talk to the Kubernetes API. We'll send the CR, which is there. And the package controller will read that. You can see that package controller reading it, reconciling it, and then creating the application via the package info controller that gets the package info from the repository and updating that and maintaining the sync between that and deploying the package and then sending the package status back to the client. Uh, regular, simple architecture just following the Kubernetes operator pattern uh, if you are aware of that. So we have GlassCube installed and uh, we have kubectl get nodes. We have our Kubernetes cluster and let's do the installation. Let's see one of the guides. Yeah, let's install a uh, cert manager. So what we are going to do is first, yeah, first we have to do bootstrap. Yeah, yes, I remember that now. So we'll do a GlassCube bootstrap. So installing GlassCube missing package manager for Kubernetes. So it is fetching the 0.0.1, .0 which is the first version that is there. And you can see it installs the Flux CD. So let's give it a second. And once it's installed, we we'll see all the components that got installed on the Kubernetes cluster. So GlassCube is successfully installed. kubectl get pods hyphen A. So what do we have? We have Flux system. And in Flux system, we have the Helm controller and the source controller. Uh, we have the glass cube system. In the glass cube system, we have the glass cube controller manager. That's pretty much it. So it has three applications which are there. Now what we'll do is glass cube and bootstrap is done. And what we'll try to do is we can list the packages first. So let's list the packages. So it's it cert manager ingress Kubernetes dashboard. So let's try to install maybe cert manager and then from UI also we'll install one application. Glass cube install cert manager. So installing cert manager. Now on the other screen, let's see kubectl get ports hyphen A. And we can see that cert manager is installed. Like it's it's already running over here. And let's go back. And yes, it is successfully installed. So let's do glass cube list again. And yes, it updates the status ready. Now this is cool, right? Because you get to know what applications is actually installed. And you can also uninstall a package. So you can install 
you can uninstall and you will be able to i would love to see update as well in future but you can install uninstall and now let's install a package using the ui so i think you have to do a serve for that so glass cube serve and it has opened up the ui actually in the other screen but i'll bring that screen here and here is the screen so you can see it has cert manager it again says install and you can already uninstall you can install cyclops you can install this so let's install ingress nginx it is pending and refreshing to updates yeah i think that's pretty much it very simple ui that it is getting installed so we can see nginx uh, ingress nginx is installed but i had to kind of serve again to see the status so might be something to get fixed so yeah things are working and it is getting installed we can also see kubectl get svc iphone n and we can see the load balancer service for that created as well. Now it's pretty simple like kubectl run nginx iphone iphone image nginx and kubectl expose pod nginx hyphen iphone port 80. Pod is exposed. We can do kubectl get svc to see the service. So let's create the ingress now. Uh, it's pretty simple API version, you put kind. And then cert manager, uh, we, we can leave this because I'm not going to do the HTTPS because for that you would require cluster issuer as well. I already have another video where I have explained uh, certificates and how to generate HTTPS. Uh, anyways, it's just the cert manager things. Ingress class name. And here we gave the DNS name uh, for the load balancer uh, that was assigned to the Nginx ingress service. And then the HTTP, uh, it goes to service name. Nginx and port number 80. If you are trying from uh, this, there is the API version missing over here. So you need to be careful when you copy from here. one of their guides. So let's do kubectl apply hyphen f ingress. Ingress is created, kubectl get ingress. Let's try to hit this. And there you go. I know it's not secure because we haven't created a TLS. It's pretty simple to create the TLS. So means that our ingress controller was successfully installed. Now the main purpose was not obviously to have a URL and showing you Nginx working, but the main purpose was showing that Nginx ingress was installed successfully. Uh, so that's pretty much it about glass cube. Uh, I think it's pretty early. It needs a lot to be implemented for it to become a new kind of package manager for Kubernetes. There are stuff mentioned on the website about how it will use some of the projects like cube no trouble or pluto from fairwinds to check the dependency uh, like the kubernetes version compatibility when you update the kubernetes one version with the new api what are deprecated what are not deprecated all these things uh, then the package dependencies and stuff like that so i think it's simple but it has a lot of potential and when i see their roadmap uh, there are a lot of things that there is in development to add more supported packages uh, supporting the backups, handling the secrets, version pinning, suspension. I think they need a way uh, to implement some of the values that can be edited as well. I think that would be amazing. So a good effort in this direction. We definitely need something more than Helm. It is going to take quite a bit of time to kind of get things done. But I think since this is open source Apache 2, uh, it can get a lot of contributions pretty soon. So all in all, I like GlassCube. And it's good, but it, there's a lot of work that needs to be done for it to support the updates. So I think updates would be really good if you can directly update from the CLI or the UI whenever there is a new package available. There are certain tools available right now like system update CLI and certain other tools that helps you when there's a new release happening in a particular Helm or uh, I don't know how they are managing, but in Helm or where whatever repository, it releases a new release and then uh, there is an update option that can come, you know, when you list that the update is available or not. That would be something cool. Uh, and also bring your own application. So if you want your own set of application with customization, that should something be uh, there. And also the contributions made easy for the packages to be added to GlassCube. So those are some of my thoughts on GlassCube. Let me know what you think of GlassCube and uh, do you really need a new Kubernetes package manager? Uh, 
that's it for this particular video thank you so much for watching if you like please do share subscribe like uh, the youtube channel that keeps uh, a lot of momentum going and make sure to check out class q